Hey everyone, Corsa 170 here to do an early review of the new alien comedy, Paul. So the movie is written and it is starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, obviously who were behind uh, Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. It also has Seth Rogen as the voice of the alien, Paul. Um, has like Kristen Wiig, Sigourney Weaver, Jason Bateman, uh, a lot of SNL people in it. And the film is directed by Greg Matala, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, he directed Superbad and also Adventureland, which I thought was very underrated. So the film is about two British nerds who come from England to America to go to the San Diego Comic Con. And while they're here in America, they want, you know, obviously they want to go to Comic Con. And before they go back home, they're going to visit the kind of the, the hottest alien hotspots in America. So they go to Comic Con, they kind of have their fun. They're on their way back home. And before they go home, they, obviously they're going to hit up all those hotspots like Area 51 and stuff like that. And they come across Paul, who's a real life alien. And, you know, they've always wanted to, you know, encounter with an alien, but they, you know, everyone else thinks that they're fake, but they think aliens are real. So you learn that Paul needs to find his way back home. And so these two guys, you know, played by Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, help guide Paul back home. And it kind of becomes kind of like a road trip slash chase movie because the government wants to capture Paul uh, for his abilities. And kind of, you know, they come across a lot of like weird eclectic type people, mainly uh, Kristen Wiig, who's like this overly over the top type Christian girl, and a lot of other crazy people. And yeah, like I said, it becomes kind of this like road trip chase movie. Um, but I gotta admit, it's very, very funny. Um, it is quite over the top, it's ridiculous, but it's kind of a chill, laid back type film. I do like the fact that, you know, most alien movies are kind of like horror thrillers or dramas. I like the fact that this is like a really kind of like almost like a raunchy, stonerish, uh, laid back type, over the top comedy, R rated comedy, and it really adds something quite refreshing and original to the alien subgenre. Overall, this film has great acting and great direction, great writing. Um, I mean, everything really in this film works for the most part. I really like all the pop culture references. I know that this film was quite a big love letter to Steven Spielberg, who actually has a small little cameo in the movie. Um, there's a lot of pop culture references, you know, like uh, Back to the Future. Anything basically Steven Spielberg has had his hands on, they kind of almost reference, all, at least all the good stuff they reference in this film. Also, it had really good, you know, special effects, and um, I was really surprised by the special effects with Paul. I thought they were very well done. But overall, the main reason to see this movie is for Paul, you know, Seth Rogen doing the voice of Paul. He did such an awesome job. It's one of those things I wish that this movie will do well just so it has a sequel just for Paul. And that was easily the best part about this whole film. Also had a lot of heart. It was very heartwarming, very touching, um, and something that I didn't expect from the film. Now the film did suffer from a few drawbacks, mainly, you know, a lot of the time, uh, the comedy can be a little hit and miss. Um, a lot of the, the funnier moments in the film, at least half of the funny moments in the film, are in the Red Band trailer. And also I felt the film was a little too rushed. I would have liked the film to have been two plus hours long because it's one of those comedies that deserve to be a little bit longer but they really did try to rush it all in a 90 minute long movie so I really hope that there's like an unrated director's cut when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. Overall this is easily so far one of the best films of this year. I think that this will even be better than a lot of other films this year. Um, it's definitely one of my favorites and I give Paul a solid 9 out of 10. So I think it comes out three weeks from today so when it comes out March 18th go see it. It is awesome. Two thumbs up. I highly recommend it. That is uh, my review of Paul. And until next time, Course 717, thank you all for watching.